I found seven remote jobs that are actually hiring right now with no experience. And I'm gonna be going over the jobs, the job postings, what type of career path you might go down, how much they pay, and also how you can go about landing the job itself. And if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a collections specialist. So you can just go to bcafs.com slash careers, and you can apply for the roles. So in this position, you would basically be handling overdue accounts and debt recovery over the phone, and you'd be ensuring that payments are collected efficiently. And kind of like a financial detective, you basically track down hmm. clues on unpaid bills and you negotiate solutions. Now, as fun as I might want to make it sound, realistically speaking, a lot of these people are going to not want to pay. They're going to be very annoyed that you're calling them and contacting them. And in some cases, they might be in a really bad situation where they can't pay. But you can be a good collection specialist and help come to a compromise. And collection specialists make 41 to 50 nine thousand dollars a year so you'd go to bca.applytojob.com slash apply and really all they require is that you have a quiet and private workspace high speed internet and you must meet all technical requirements prior to the first day of training so you have to have a computer basically and you do have to be living in the following states which i'll put up on the screen now some online courses you could take are courses in customer service and communication you could take some basic financial and accounting courses from something like khan academy and you can also do some on the job training provided by employers now you might start off with the collection specialist role, then you could move into a senior collection specialist role and then make up to $76,000 a year. And then you could move into a senior level collections manager and they make about seventy-two dollars to $121,000 a year. So yeah, this one's pretty good. You are going to get a lot of people to get mad at you. But with that being said, you don't need a college degree, don't need previous experience. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an influencer slash content marketing specialist. And basically you're going to manage and scale influencer partnerships. And this helps to create engagement content for ads and customer acquisition. And an interesting fact is that content marketing or influencer marketing is kind of like a secret weapon that brands are using now. And it turns out 63% of consumers would rather listen to their favorite beauty guru or dog walker or chess champ than a fancy ad. And so sponsorships are much more effective than just a normal ad that you would place on a channel. And in this position, you can make about 49 to $87,000 a year. Now this lady right here, Ayana Alexis, actually did make a video where she kind of went over a day in the life of her doing the job and her work involves major online meetings whenever there's a new sponsor for their influencer. And here's a company that's hiring for this role right now, and you can apply for the roles. Here's the job description and what you'll be doing. I'll put it up on the screen really quick. And as you can see, there's not much that you have to have here. It's basically one of those things where you just have to be familiar with social media, which chances are you are. So basically, you'd go to the website, you'd submit your application, you'd follow the steps, and you'd wait for them to reach out to you. Now, one thing you always wanna do is make sure to check your spam. And some things you could do that could get you prepared for this is taking free online courses on a place like Khan Academy or YouTube or Udemy or Allison. You can also take some of the Google certificates like the Google Digital Marketing Certificate that does go over some social media marketing related skills. And yeah, it's a great company. Overall, really good one. Now, if you want to start your own social media thing, I do have some live training that I'm going to go through where I literally tell you guys exactly how I grew my YouTube channel. That live training is going to be Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Definitely check the link in the description down in the pinned comment below. It's one of the most common questions I get. People email me all the time reaching out to me for help on this. So definitely attend that training. Also, if you're interested, I do actually do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. However, I'm pretty picky about who I work with because I can't work with that many people at a time. So you can apply for that in the description in the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a resume writer. So this is something that I've actually helped with. And the beautiful thing about being a resume writer is you're pretty much never going to run out of demand because you can be a resume writer for every single career out there. And you're always going to beat someone if you're a resume writer for a very specific type of career versus being a general resume writer, right? So if you are, for instance, watching this and you're an accountant, you probably are pretty good at writing resume for accountants because you were able to land an accounting job. So so you could advertise yourself as an accounting resume writer. And you could even get more specific than that and do your exact job that you're working. Maybe you're a bookkeeper, for instance. So there's a lot of opportunity for this, not only from a getting a job standpoint, but also from a freelancing standpoint, even a starting a business standpoint. There's literally people who started like, you know, seven figure businesses that are resume writing companies. And resume writers make 44 to $68,000 a year. This is really cool blog post I saw that was a day in the life of a professional resume 
writer. And the company that you can apply to for this is ResumeSpice.com. And this is a company that helps professionals navigate the job search landscape with resume writing, cover letters, LinkedIn profiles, and interview preparation. And they also work with the best career coaches in the country to help professionals with issues such as building a job search strategy, transitioning into a new career, managing more effectively, and effective networking strategies. And they've actually gotten Trustpilot ratings for being number one in the resume writing category and number one in the career coaching category. And in terms of the job description, it is offered either in office in Houston, Texas, or remote in the United States of America. And full-time and part-time positions are both open. Your duties are gonna to be to consult with clients over the phone or video chat, provide resume critiques or consultations over the phone, formatting, editing, and rewriting resumes. You also might be writing cover letters, professional bios, thank you letters, and LinkedIn profiles per the client request. And the knowledge and skills required is excellent written and verbal English communication skills. I think most people watching this have that. You need to be an expert at using Microsoft Word. You need to have an understanding of various industries and job functions, including entry-level, technical, professional, and executive roles. Pretty easy to do that as well. And then you need to be organized with impeccable attention to detail, right? So that's like all that's required. So... They don't even require a college degree, previous experience, anything like that. So the way you do this is you'd visit the Resume Spice official website. You'd click About Us. Then there's gonna be a drop down option and you're gonna click Meet the Team. Once you get to this page, scroll down and look at this content. Click the highlighted word Open Positions. Then you'll see this part of the page where all the available jobs are seen. Once you click on the Desired Job Plus button, this option will expand showing more in-depth specifics about the role. Once done, you can scroll down to see the application details. You definitely wanna read that. And then you can go ahead and apply. So uh, in order to get prepared for this, you wanna study the best practices, learn industry keywords and master formatting techniques. Definitely make some resumes yourself and some cover letters just to have some experience. Maybe you could help your friends do their resumes or cover letters, for instance. You could get a certification such as the Certified Professional Resume Writer or CPRW to demonstrate your expertise. And also you want to familiarize yourself with ATS or applicant tracking systems. But yeah, this company has really good ratings online. For instance, this person here said it's the best job they've ever had. And overall, this is a really good opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an entry level data analyst. Because you you don't need to pan for gold when you can dig into spreadsheets and strike it rich that way because data is more valuable than oil or gold and data analytics may sound like a fancy new buzzword but it's actually been around since the 19th and early 20th century and as computers got more advanced starting in the 1960s data analytics really started to take off and it basically helped organizations of all sizes make better decisions and data analysts make about 70 to 117 thousand dollars a year and yes you can actually land a entry-level jobs in this position without a college degree or previous experience. Lots of people have shared their experience doing it themselves. And there's other jobs you can get into down the line that pay even more. So business intelligence analysts make about 113 to 181,000 a year and data analytics managers make 164 to $251,000 a year. So really good opportunities here. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Very easy to apply to them. And by the way, comment down below if you like some of these or you don't like them or you think I should have mentioned any others. Next is going to be an administrative support specialist. And basically, you're the ultimate organizer in this position that keeps everything running smoothly for busy professionals. And you're basically going to be wearing many hats from scheduling meetings and managing calendars to handling travel arrangements and coordinating events. And administrative support specialists make about forty-five dollars to $66,000 a year. And some other career paths you might go down are customer success associate. They make about fifty-eight dollars to $95,000 a year. Marketing coordinator, they make about fifty-three dollars to $80,000 a year. Or project manager, they make about eighty-two dollars to $140,000 a year. So these are three very common positions that you might also go into if you went into this role. And overall, not very difficult to get into. Here's an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, you can check it out for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a listing specialist. And this is somebody who's responsible for creating compelling property listings and marketing them to potential buyers. So you basically work with the sellers of a property and you create the listing for them online that's going to attract people to actually buy it. And listing specialists make about forty-eight dollars to $81,000 a year. Some other career paths that are similar would be a listing manager. They make about seventy-five dollars to $138,000 a year. A real estate marketing specialist, they make eighty dollars to $145,000 a year. Or a broker who makes about $122,000 to $227,000 a year. So yeah, relatively easy to get into. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. And next is an inbound sales representative. This, of course, is a sales-related job. And I've said it a million times. I'll say
say it a million more times, I think everyone should do at least one sales job in their life. And inbound sales reps are great. You take inbound calls so you don't have to reach out to people, which is, you know, probably preferred. They make about fifty-four dollars to $88,000 a year, which is really solid considering you can get into this relatively easily. And I do like this job a lot. I think it's great, but I think tech sales is probably the easiest sales job that you can get into. And it's one of the best ones as well. There is some free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below on how you can get into tech sales. It also talks about what different types of tech sales jobs there are and whether you would be a good fit for tech sales. So, so really good training to take. Check it out down in the description in the pinned comment below. But yeah, this career is great. Some other ones would be business development representative. That would be about 76 to 126,000 a year. Account executives, they make about 88 to 156,000 a year. And directors of customer success that make about 140 to 233,000 a year. So yeah, this one's great. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I did a video on jobs where you can work from home worldwide and make really good money with remote work. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.